So I thought I'd show you fellows what I'm up to here. I've got my vacuum impregnating rig fired up. There's some of the castings that uh, I know you've all seen many times before. But uh, there's my vacuum chamber, a little single stage vacuum pump. Pumps it down in just a couple of minutes, but you can see it's uh, pretty registering full vacuum, at least all the vacuum that gauge can read. I've got a couple of uh, parts suspended in there over, that's Loctite 90C, it's uh, methacrylate, and it's right at about the boiling point at that high a vacuum. I'm letting the vacuum pump the castings down. I've got the castings suspended above the liquid there by that little rod. There's a little casting handle that I made to clamp the rod in place, and then there's a bulkhead fitting that I made with an O-ring seal so that rod can slide up and down in there because we're going to take and immerse those castings in the methacrylate and then let the atmospheric pressure back in and that pressure drives the methacrylate into the pores of the casting and then you take it out of there and you dunk it and rinse it in that bucket and then you plop it in the, the stewing pot there that I've got boiling water in and it takes about 5 or 10 minutes at uh, 90 degrees centigrade to cure the methacrylate and then they Casting should be all sealed up. So I had just made myself a few brackets like that right there to bolt them onto. Got a hole through them. Got about a half a dozen of those brackets or so. And I got a little uh, quick release key, just a pin. You can see it there at the end of the rod. I just pull that pin and swap out the, the castings and away you go. So let's see here. We'll take and uh, if I can show you this, one-handed, and you can see that uh, there's quite a bit of action going on in there. It settles down pretty quick. Um, I don't know if that's air still being pumped out of the castings or, or not, but you can see there's some action. Anyway, if we isolate it like this and then slowly let the air back in I gotta do it slowly because if I don't do it if I open that valve it'll splatter things all over the place you can see the vacuum is decreasing and I'm letting the air back in there I'll let them set there for just a second and uh, then I'll pull the castings up above there and let them drip and recover what, what I can of the methacrylate and then it's just a matter of dunking them in water a few times and putting them in the boiling pot. That's it boys, casting impregnating. Take care.